Jesse Palmer was on our show yesterday. He said that even if Wisconsin wins out, they need chaos in order to represent the Big Ten in the college football playoff. But with all the politics that go involved in this, as it relates to the selection committee, are you guys also in that camp that an undefeated Big Ten champion could be left out of the college football playoff four teams? All right, so let's do this. Bama's in, right? Yep. Clean the rest of the way. Let's say Oklahoma's clean the rest of the way. Let's say Clemson's clean the rest of the way. And let's say Notre Dame takes care of business Miami this week and the rest. There's, there's an issue there for Wisconsin. Of course okay. there is. And the um, Big 12. And we want to sit here and start acting like all of a sudden now the schedule got tougher because Iowa found a way to be ranked with three losses. Like, like I like Iowa a little bit, but <laughs> we get really weird with the team's 24th versus being, say, 27th and how the voting would work out. So Wisconsin could be in some trouble there. But if you have Oklahoma TCU split, say, the rest of the season, if you have something weird happen with Auburn handing one of those top SEC teams a loss, right. you know, Wisconsin's going to get in at 13-0, and especially if they're being an Ohio State team that would be favored against Wisconsin in the Big Ten championship game. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I mean, Notre Dame is one, one big asterisk. If they win out, the Irish will, will be in. And so that takes away a conference. I look at it now, and probably the Pac-12 is going to be the one left out. And if there's a second one left out, it's, it'll be between the Big 12 and the Big 10. Uh, we have that huge matchup, TCU-Oklahoma, this week. Then you could have a rematch. So right. is one of those teams capable of winning both of those games will be a critical part of this. And then Georgia, it, where everyone's assuming they lose, well, Georgia could win. And also, if, even if they lose in a very tight game, it's going to be really hard after they beat Notre Dame on the road and some mm -hmm. of their other wins and then to have played they Alabama. They beat Auburn, too, to get there. Let's undefeated. say it's a three, five, six-point game, and it yeah. was a great game. It's going to be hard to look at Georgia and say they're not one of the best four teams in the country. So I, I don't know that chaos has to ensue, but they're, they definitely need a couple breaks if you're a Wisconsin Badger fan because right now it's easy to come up with Alabama, Georgia, Notre Dame, Clemson. Right. See ya. Yeah, right. Like, we should not sit here and say Wisconsin 13-0 rubber stamp and done. Right. I mean, it's likely that that's what happens. Right. But – there's scenarios that are very easy to come up with. You go, that's going to be a really tough debate. And the Georgia scenario, you can make the argument if they do lose in a championship game to Alabama, it's a close game, they would have the best loss of all those teams with one loss going into that final weekend. Guys, appreciate the time. You got it. Check out them later today. Ryan Rosillo Show on ESPN Radio.